Hi guys, Jen here with How Jen Does It. Today we are in my backyard and I'm going to share my new patio decor with you, which I love. It's so bright and colorful and I love how we have the seating arranged. I'm also going to take you around as much of my yard as I can show and share what we have been working on. So we did some major yard work and I did share on Instagram the huge pile of mulch and topsoil that we had delivered and I did show lots of plants that we purchased and we went back and got even more. So if you like flowers as much as I do, you will enjoy this video. So I'm going to share everything and show you um, as much as I can. I'll tell you where I purchased everything and I'll try to let you know the names of the flowers and plants the best that I can. We have the two sectionals and the umbrella. Those are from Lowe's.com and I just got these two new rugs. I love them. I love the colors and these are from World Market. The two small tables that we have are from Lowe's.com as well and the aqua pots I got at Lowe's in store and we have our red impatience here. The red pillows I had from last year and I found those at Home Goods, but the bright red colorful floral pillow and the aqua one are from World Market. I love how bright and colorful everything is. I did have red accents last year because we have red shutters and red mulch, but I love the addition of aqua. We do have a lot of aqua on the inside of our home. I think they look so pretty together. Here we have a pot of celosia, and then over here I have a couple more pots. The large aqua pot is also from Lowe's, and the red ones I think are from Lowe's. I got those last year. But here we have some red and yellow, yellow dahlias. I love these flowers. They're one of my favorites. And in the red pot we have begonias and impatience. We also have a seating area over here. The two chairs I've had for quite a while, they are from Kohl's. The pretty pillows are from World Market and the little table is also from World Market and it comes in other colors. I know for sure they have a bright red one. I have two more pots here. So in the aqua plant, I have sedum and lobelia. The sedum is actually a perennial, so I might take that out and plant it in our yard later on. And then we have some pin cushion, which is also a perennial. I added aqua and floral pillows from World Market to my gazebo. The placemat is also from World Market and the large lantern is from Target. On the side of our home, I have a lilac bush, and then I planted all of these flowers this year. So we have salvia, royal candles, and pin cushions. And then next to that, I have a peony plant. This one has white flowers, which have already bloomed. And then I have this really beautiful rose bush that just started to bloom. Next to that, I have another peony bush, and that one has bright pink flowers. Again, it already bloomed and I love taking those inside. We have lots of irises. Those also already bloomed. And then we have some lilies which will be blooming very soon. Most of the work that we did was in the front yard, but we did add a lot of mulch to the landscaping in the back. And over on the right, I have tons of lilies that haven't bloomed yet, but they will bloom soon. And then over here, I have day lilies. On the other side of our patio, we have tons of lamb's ear, and it's just starting to bloom with purple flowers. And then this area here, I'll show you really quickly. This was a lot of work. So this was just dirt, rocks, and some weeds. So we really needed to take care of it. We put down a weed barrier. We added topsoil and mulch and then the bricks there. So it looks so much better. You can't actually see it from our house, but it is still our property. So we wanted to take care of it. I have a couple little pots of begonias. These are on the steps near one of our patio doors. And then in the back of our home, we have cherry blossom, which I love. It smells amazing and they're 
pretty little flowers. I planted a few flowers on the other side of the cherry blossom. I planted tick seed and coreopsis. These are bright yellow flowers and they attract butterflies, which is really nice. They haven't bloomed yet, but they have a few little buds on them. Then I have three pots of celosia. These are on the steps going up to the patio door in our breakfast nook. Hopefully that makes sense, but that kind of gives you an idea of where they are. But these will bloom with really bright red flowers. I'm just going to show a little bit of our front yard and what we did. So we laid down tons of mulch. We have lots of daylilies here. We added to our landscaping bricks and I planted two St. John's wort bushes. These will get a lot bigger and they have pretty little yellow flowers. This here is a Wygela. It's the maroon spoon. So it gets really dark red flowers. It's beautiful. It already bloomed and I think it continues to bloom and it actually gets really big. It's going to be four to five feet tall and three to four feet wide. So we made sure we left lots of room for it to grow. Just a little bit more of our front yard. We have a huge Japanese maple with daylilies around it. We also have a maple tree and I couldn't show you one whole side of our front yard. We have lots of hostas. Those will be blooming soon. And my whole porch is shaded. So I added some impatiens, which are looking pretty gorgeous. And then I also have a fern. Here is a night shot of our gazebo. So we have the lights around it and it's just so nice and peaceful to sit out here in the evening. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know a lot of it was flowers and flower names and I know some of you are very interested in that. So I hope that if you stuck around to watch that, you enjoyed it.